Hey there tubers, I figure I'll make another quickie. I'm still behind the old grain towers. There's just uh, some more information here about the wildlife. If you research, if you look up Collingwood, they do have a website, I know that. So if you want to find out more about this dump of a town, you can. That's just, again, that's just my opinion of it. It was like that when I lived here, so. Actually, there used to be a Goodyear, Goodyear factory here. My aunt used to live, work there, so it did have some work, but then everything left pretty much, and now it's just tourist town, really. Go over here, some old ships. These are interesting. I like looking at these boards sometimes. Wish I could get out with Saga Beach, but I don't know. Don't think I have any plans of going out there anytime soon. The old old sail all the old steam ships it's neat and they're all made here okay here's a, actually here's a view of the grain tower that we we're just looking at uh, this building here is obviously gone uh, there's the old grain tower that's what's left of this is actually showing the other side of it where we were showing earlier and this is gone too. I'm pretty sure that, no, sorry. That's another grain tower that was here. I don't know. So if you look in this view right here, it shows like another grain tower building right there. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this isn't the old grain tower or not. Because here's a picture of the one that's right behind me. It sure looks like it at least. Yeah, that's the one that's right behind me. So this one must have been far, farther back at one time. I don't know, I'll have to ask my mom about that one. I wish I could ask my grandpa, but he's, he's since passed away about six years ago or so. So let's move on to the last board. There's maps on here and everything. They actually supply water from this uh, bay, from Georgian Bay here, for the Honda plant in Alliston. Um, at about fifth, no, not 15 years ago, but my, maybe 15 years ago, they actually put a pipeline in. It's actually not too far from here. I don't remember where it is though, or else I could possibly show it. They put a pipeline in, going all the way down the train tracks. The train tracks, most most of them have been taken out are rail trails now, but they put a pipeline in all the way from here to the Honda plant, which is almost almost an hour away, hour hour and a half away from here. All the way in Allison, that's where most Hondas are made. In Allison, Ontario. So, uh, I don't think there's much more around here. One second here, I gotta help out my friend. Having a little bit of difficulties. Let's just go over this way. We got lots of time still. We got three minutes. We're only three minutes in. When I bought this camera, I bought a four gig card for it. They said, oh, you can only get about an hour, of, hour on a four gig card. You did? And according to my camera a few minutes ago, I had over three hours left. So they lied. I'm glad I got the four gig card in it. And then they also told me, oh, my camera has no memory on it without a memory card. It has about five minutes. There's another little area, a little boat in the water. Right over there on the right. Over there on the right. It's there. I wish I could pause this though. Once I'd pause it and then one second. I'd continue. But I am holding the camera pretty good. Hopefully I'm not shaking it too bad. Um down too low. There's seagulls flying over our heads right now. And my friend said she got packed. Yeah. But I hate seagulls worse that the birds at home back home are shitting on my tractor and I bathed my tractor and covered up and the tarp was dirty made me so mad <laughs> but it's in my shop now I'm gonna look over this way good thing I videotaped more I got ya there's a there's a lip before you get to the water and the rocks anyways there's all rocks around us here's a little patio area this area is nicer once you get closer to the summer it's beautiful out here. You're fine. How much time do we got? 
Probably in five minutes. Okay, we'll be going back soon. So, let's go back down the. If you're facing the grain tower from the front, go back down the left side of it. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Yes, that's what I was talking about a few minutes ago. Oh, look at that, way across the bay. I don't know if that's a house, a ski resort. I have no clue. Pretty nice view way out there though. Way across. You can't see anyways. My friend can't see very well. It's actually, it's nice. It's not bad out here. Knowing this town, I'm surprised it hasn't been destroyed by punk kids. It's actually pretty nice. We're going to head over to one more monument. I think it's just one more. Back on the walkway. We'll actually be closer to the water. I'll leave my friend up near the grass. And I'm going to go right out to the water's edge. You're fine if you stay right along there. Here's actually where boats can actually tie in. They have tie downs. They actually do have, uh, noticed, boat storage here as well, where they have hydro hookups. Hydro, imagining phone and cable TV. Cable sucks, but that's the same one. Okay, I'm gonna go right out to the water's edge. I haven't done this in years. Hopefully no one comes up and pushes me. There you go. Yeah, this is, you can tie in right here. There's the bumpers. Wow, I haven't been out here. Good thing it's not a windy day. Or else I would not be this close. <laughs> I haven't been this close to this area in a long, long time. And I'm not jumping in. <laughs> Don't want to jump in. No, you're not. Here's another, uh, uh, stone rocks and actually it looks like native, native art artifacts. Yeah, one minute. Come on. Come on. Chicken. One second here. I did not bring a tripod. I'm happy I didn't. One less thing to carry. That's one. <laughs> You're fine. Yeah, just showing, just showing like artifacts. That's all it is. Okay. Um, I think that's it. If there's anything more, I'll turn the camera back on. But. I'm not sure if we're going to go out to Sunset Point. We might, we might not. We'll see. And I think my friend doesn't want to go out too close to more water. It's not that interesting out there anyways. They're, heck, we used to swim out there like crazy in the summertime. Then they always say, oh, you're not supposed to. The reason why they did that is they want to get people to Wasaga Beach. But why go to Wasaga Beach when you can stay closer to home? And this town, they could make a real nice waterfront, but they don't have a nice waterfront. It's a gorgeous place, but not very nice. I guess, like, this area here is nice, but this is the only area, but who knows? Give it a couple of years, I'll do another video of it. They might have everything all done by then. Well, who knows? You never know. Okay, this is Redneck Brian signing off. I hope everyone enjoyed the first part of the video. When I'm at my uncle's tomorrow, I might try to get some video up there. He's way up in the mountains. Way up in the mountains. He has a, I think it's a hundred acre farm up there. So I'll, I'll do, hopefully do some more video from up there if he lets me. And I'll talk to you guys later. Keep it redneck. Please subscribe and comment.